What is going on YouTube? Welcome to the Living Freed channel. My name is Tyler Freed and in this video I'm going to be answering a question that I got from a subscriber and the question was do I regret becoming a truck driver? Also would I have done it any other way? Right? So do I regret certain aspects of how my career has gone? If I could go back and change certain things would I do that? So I think that's a great question. Uh, and I'm going to be answering that in this video. So if you're new to the channel, please like the video, sub to the channel, stay tuned till the very end so you hear my entire point and me answering this question in its entirety. Also, if you're somebody that's not new, you're already subscribed, make sure you like the video. It helps grow the channel. It helps out with the YouTube algorithm. So I'm going to get right into it. So again, the question was, do I regret becoming a truck driver? Uh, do I regret certain aspects of my trucking career and how it's gone so far. So I'm gonna answer one thing I do regret. One thing I do regret not doing is getting all of my endorsements when I first got my CDL permit. That is something that I needed to do up front. Now, I didn't have the knowledge that I have now about the trucking industry and this career when I first started, and so I did not go and get my endorsements. I should have done that out the get-go. If you're somebody that's looking at getting into trucking, make sure you get all of your endorsements. So that's the only thing I really regret, honestly, not doing. Now, that being said, I am going to be moving here in the next year, uh, within the next year. And so whenever I do that, I will actually go and get all of my endorsements whenever I transfer my license over to the state I'm moving to. So that is something that I'm going to actually make up for and fix. And so that's the only thing, really, as far as everything else goes, I had a plan coming into trucking, something I talk about in this video all the time. And that's gonna bring me to my point that I'm gonna make in this video. If you come into trucking with goals set, with a plan, you will have no regrets. Now, you will go through tough times. It's not like every day is gonna be rainbows and sunshine. It's not like this is gonna be an easy job, an easy career path. But if you have goals set with your money that you're gonna be making in trucking, if you have a goal to become an owner operator, if you have a goal to save and invest in real estate, if you have a goal to retire from a stock portfolio, whatever it may be, if you have goals going into trucking, and I will actually share what my goal was, and it was one massive goal. I have a lot of other goals, but the main goal I'm trying to achieve, the main thing I'm trying to achieve in trucking, and this, is, this was before I ever even got a CDL permit. This was before I ever went to Millis Transfer and went through the school. I wanted to do this from the beginning. My goal was to get into trucking and be able to retire early from work period, not just from trucking, just from work period. I wanted to get to the point of financial independence. And I've explained what that is. That's the ability for me to live off 4% of my invested portfolio, right? 4% of the money that I have invested in whatever I own. It could be real estate. It could be a combination of real estate and stocks. I want to be able to retire early. Now, I'm not gonna retire, so I should quit saying retire. I want to create financial freedom. I want to be able to pay all of my bills, uh, provide for my family, everything, with the money I have invested. That is financial freedom to me. And so that has been my goal before I even got into trucking. And I am on the path, I'm actually further towards my goal than I expected to be at this point when, when I first started, right? So I mapped it out. I did, hey, this is gonna be my savings rate. This is gonna be what I expect to get as a return from my investment over the next 10 to 15 years. Now, it, it will take me longer than 10 years to become totally financially free. Now, when I got into trucking, I was 24 years old, right? I'm 29 now. I've been doing trucking for five years, obviously, and I am about halfway to financial freedom. My wife and I, we are both halfway to financial freedom. We've been on this journey since we began, 
okay? And so if you want to achieve something like that, you have to get out of debt, you have to have a six month emergency fund, and you have to pick an investment vehicle that you're gonna stick with consistently over a long period of time, over a five, 10, 15 year span. And with truck driving, you can become financially free doing that. Why, why do I know that? How do I know that? Because we are worth multiple six figures after just five years of doing what I'm talking about. And none of this would have ever happened if I did not choose truck driving as my career path to fund my ultimate goal. So do I regret getting into trucking? Absolutely not, because if it wasn't for trucking, I wouldn't be able to invest 50%, 60% of my income every single month, every single year, and I wouldn't have been able to do that the last five years and get to my goal of financial freedom. And my goal was to be financially free by 35 in 11 years, okay? And I think we'll achieve it. I think we'll achieve it by 35, okay? Now, to be extremely wealthy, which I'm shooting for not, that's financial freedom by the time I'm 35, we'll hit that, but we wanna go beyond that. We even wanna go beyond that, and I'm not gonna quit working once I hit financially uh, hit financial freedom. I wanna continue on. I'm not gonna quit working at 35 and do nothing the rest of my life, but the point of this all is to have that option to where like, okay, if my job isn't working out, I can move on and do something else. And look, I have other options too. Like between now and 35, I could start a business. I have options because before I got into trucking, I had a plan with the money I was making or gonna make from truck driving. And I've stuck to that plan. I've stuck to that for the last five years. And it's resulted in my family having a ton of options, right? A ton of options. We have great benefits. We have a great income combined, me and my wife both. If you're a single person, well, great, man. You can live on the road and save 80, 90% of your income. It's totally doable. Look, trucking, yes, it has many cons, but if you get into trucking with a plan, if you come into trucking with your goals set and your, your strategy as to how you're gonna achieve those goals, you will not regret it at all. You were not re will not regret it at all. Look, most people never achieve real freedom, even in America, the land of the free, home of the brave. You are not actually free, in my opinion, in this country, and unless you are financially free. That is the absolute God's honest truth. In my opinion, that is the truth, okay? And most Americans are one job loss away from, from becoming bankrupt, from becoming homeless. That's most Americans, and that's why I'm motivated on this channel to talk about what I talk about. And it was a great question by the person that asked it. Do I regret anything? L seriously, literally the only thing I regret is not getting my endorsements. Other than that, and that's something I can fix. That's an easily uh, fixable thing. But no, I do not regret it because I am on the path and I am achieving what I set out to achieve to begin with. That is the moral of this story. So if you're somebody that's looking at trucking as a potential career path, you need to have a plan. If you do, if you come into this business, you come into doing this job and you have no plan, you will become absolutely miserable after a year, 100%. You will be one of the statistics. Uh, you will be part of that 90% turnover rate uh, for a first year driver, okay? 90% of truck drivers that enter the industry, new truck drivers, do not make it past one year, 90% trucking has a very high turnover rate. And that's a sad thing to me. Why? Because this is one of the best businesses out there for people to get into and change their lives financially. It really is, 100%. You can make great money in trucking. It will all be dependent on you though. Your work ethic, your dedication, your sacrifice, your plan. And it's, look, it is. It's just dependent on what you do with it. Life is what you make of it, trucking is what you make of it, and I've been making the most of it ever since I got into trucking, and I'm gonna continue to do so, and I'm gonna continue to fund, um, I'm gonna continue to fund my investments and create generational wealth for my family, and that's been my goal since I got in, like I've alluded to in this video, and uh, that's gonna be the thing I continue to do. So no, I have no regrets other than not getting my endorsements, and so, I'm gonna end with that. For those of you that are new, again, I appreciate you for clicking on this video, staying tuned till the very end. Again, like the video, sub to the channel, 
And if you're somebody that's subscribed, once again, like the video, help the channel grow. I really appreciate each and every one of you guys for watching. God bless. Thank you for watching and peace out.